All right, so guys, we're back for game number three. Game number three. Um, this will be between. Let's see here. This will be between. Uh, Singh versus Lee. Uh, so what is that? TVT. If I remember. TVT. And so uh, I believe Sync is now in StarCraft 2 with Team Slayers. Yeah, no, I think we looked that up. Um, but like I looked it up in in one of the vods. And, um, I mean, you'll probably if if you if you watch if the viewers watch. Okay, so Lee is apparently an NBC coach, but. Yeah. Oh no, no. Lee is the StarCraft uh, 2 coach. Yeah, he's the, the TSL head coach now. Okay. He was an assistant coach with NBC Game and then started his own StarCraft 2 squad. Yeah. He was and really out in the forefront. Yeah. yeah, and then. And then, um. What was it? God, I'm trying to think. And then, Sync apparently is allegedly some under some other AKA for StarCraft 2. Currently, but under no register of Slayers, as I am a, I am, I really like Slayers um, as a team, and EG for StarCraft 2, I follow that team like really close. But anyway, um, there has never been a record on team on team uh, Wikipedia. Uh, I looked it up on forum posts and everything else. I, there is no recognition like there's on A or B team. That name does not come up for Slayers roster at all. Yeah, well, could be just a practice partner, though, to be honest with you. What? Could be just a practice partner. Yeah, I mean, he, I, I don't know, but Sync, I mean, uh, I just looked into it. I, I could not find anything on Sync currently. And also, Vic, Vic, uh, okay, so Sync played some games in the early GSL Open. Okay. Okay. All right. And this is going to be... Lee, I think. Lee's, yeah, Lee's still with the crazy hair thing. No, maybe not. So look, he was he was in Team Nan, the Team House Nan. We, like, People we were talking blonde about blonde hair. Like what? Look at Coach Lee. Yeah, rolling the blonde hair back in the day. Okay, that's Lee. Okay. Are you so sure? he, was, Lee? he was 20 Korean age. He was already 18 when this game came out. <laughs> and now he's a head coach. So this would be, he's a head coach in 2012, so he would have been 18 American age, and you had 11 years, so that would be 29, he's a 29 year old head coach now, okay. and he looks like he's 42, <laughs> like the guy is really old looking. So Breach, I'm loving you more, he, he played StarCraft 2 in the early days, like, like open GSL, okay, so that's really old. Um, and this is gonna be, oh, uh, Neo, uh, it's our Neo, Neo Jungle Book, right? Yeah, jungle, 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 jungle Book, Jungle Book. Jungle novel. Yeah. You might see like Tarzan swinging from a tree, yeah. Mowgli talking so to some random like, bears. Like, like, an, like a pixel effect of like Tarzan going up and down the screen while this is going on. It's so perfect. And I mean, actually, this is where we had the TVT last time. Oddly enough. Yeah, you're right. Um, and I, I believe it was Sync versus uh, Jin. Jin Nam, Sync vs. Jin Nam no, was on no, Dio Jungle, Jungle Story. So yeah, it was a PVZ. It was Sync vs. No, 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 Jin no, no, Nam no, 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 on Neo Jungle Story. Lodum vs. Marine was on this game. Okay, I missed that game. Yeah, Lodum vs. Oh no, because that's the one I just uploaded. I believe. That was the last one we saw. So anyway, so oh, okay, for, right. for, for viewers, because I got a little late again, and I apologize for it. Um, so pretty much what happened was it was a very odd day but th the TBT that we saw was bizarre it was like tank they opened with like Goliath no vultures ever happened it was like tank Goliath battle cruiser I mean like these were early battle cruisers they were just like, re like I, it was, it's the most odd TBT I think it's a lot more interesting if we have another one of those games especially because it's on the same map We'll have to find out. Yeah, and I'm really wondering if we're going to see Mech versus Mech, or if we're going to see Bionic versus Bionic on this game, or what we're going to see. Uh, Sync did win his... Sync is 1-0 in the group, and I believe Lee is 0-1 in the group. 
possibly. Yeah. And also, Breach, being how awesome he is in chat, yeah, apparently he was known for his QB2, and he was like a fluke to win the GSO when he did. <laughs> Alright, right, so, looking at, at our previous yeah, results, yeah, Sync yeah, versus yeah, Jinnam, yeah, Sync won. And <laughs> Lee lost to Sigamar. So we haven't seen Lee's TVT before. We haven't seen it before. Yeah, what was uh, Sigamari's race? Uh, Zerg. Okay, so Lee... I, I think Lee's gonna be a good TVT specialist. I just... I remember him working with C from NBCC. Yeah. So C Shield, then he also worked with, you know, a couple of their other Terrans. So, Light, Alive. Um, so, I think Lee is a Terran specialist, so I believe his TVT is going to be his, probably his best matchup. Yeah. So, it's going to be interesting to see. And uh, Lee getting the role of the blue uniform. I don't know if you caught that. Oh, Special guy. And this is a Sync who looks like Jang B. 2.0. Oh my god. Just the haircut is just so terrible. Oh, I was totally mistaken. I thought I saw a blue uniform. I guess it was just a light that was shining on it. Or you're just colorblind for red. Yeah. Maybe if it's not like a part of the screen, you can't see it very well. Yeah, Lee's hair is doing him no favors at this point. And you gotta wonder how distracting it is to play with smoke blowing in your face all game. I I think on the left, like if you're looking at it, the left player, the left side player gets more smoke than the right side player. I think it's unfair. <laughs> all right, so Sink is gonna be spawning in the bottom right hand corner as the teal Terran and his opponent will be Lee spawning at the nine o'clock. Uh, we've talked about these players very in depth, but we have to see what their early game brood war is like. Okay, yeah, so if you ever wanted to know what, you know, Sink and Lee's West IDs are OP West on Battle.net, GD4 or something like that, God486 and Sink, <laughs> go harass them for some games. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So wait, I, I totally missed the colors again. Who so, 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 you can always check the overlay, but, um, Sink is going to be the teal Terran, and the blue Terran is going to be Lee. Again, the, the colors aren't doing us favors as they're like hues of the same color, but anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I just want to talk about this map. Um, they, like, you have like an in-base like, like island base that if you siege that, it's super annoying because you can hit the mineral line with siege tanks. And that if you just try to take like a normal expansion on the low ground, like one, it's super far away. Two, it's so freaking open. I don't even know how you would take it in TVT if there's vultures involved. Like I would, I would have to assume. The, 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 that, that island expo behind your base is more better, but anyway. Yeah, so, I, I, think, I think Lee's going to go with, you know, heavy tank play. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I think he's going to go heavy tank play. And I'm going to go ahead and say he's going to beat Sync. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's going to beat Sync, because he's, he's under the gun at this point. He's 0-1 in the group. Okay. And he needs a good showing, and I, I just think he's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a heavy tank battle. I think it's this is gonna be a long TVT, long drawn out, and and Lee's gonna win with TVT. And it looks like uh, the teal player is actually going gas really fast, so could be could be. Could it looks like a standard TVT build? Yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> Uh, I mean, what's Lee doing? I mean, I mean, both players are getting gas. Oh, look at the... Is that four on gas? Did you look at Lee's main base? Was that four Was that four SCVs on gas? Yeah, he's really going heavy aggressive gas right now. Like, do you actually need that for this map? Because that's just broken if, if that needs to happen. And I think it's cute that Lee actually found the other guy's SCV and is just following him to see where he goes at this point. And he's just realizing, oh, that was stupid. I, I don't get the uniform. Partial wall off here. Alright, so it's going to be factory play. But... I have a Rhino. 
Alright, so both 하나고, players are going you know, a yeah, form of TBT. But again, I, it, the unit compositions, they might do, they might just throw down an armory. That's what they've done. That's what they've done. Um, as Goliath, Goliath apparently are good tin cans back in the day, for whatever reason. Uh, no, it's gonna be a two fact. Uh, yeah, which, I think they're I mean, both. Which, get, which may even lean towards you know Goliath play still, because like you can't produce two tanks at once, or it's going to be a really strong vulture opening. Either way, I don't know. and then we're going to have a starport. Um, could be for dropships, probably. Dropships. Yeah, Lee's got a very fast starport out right now. Oh, and yeah, and, the, and he's getting the armor. He's doing the Goliath build. Uh, it's it's beyond me why you would do this thing. I mean, he, I mean, like, actually speaking, like, this build doesn't make sense, because the way you look at it, like, you put down a factory, and then you just put down another factory, so you're actually just purely going the fastest Goli Goliath possible, pretty much. It's crazy. Yeah, and now, uh, I'm at 11.09, by the way, 11.10. Uh, I'm at 11.20 now. 11.16 here. Right on. Right, I'm gonna try to speed up here. 11:24. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're caught up now. Yeah. So. Um. Shit. Well, Chad's saying that Goliaths aren't bad. They they shut down dropships, which is true. But then what? What's the Goliath purpose after that? You know? I I I I don't I, 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 don't I guess on this map it makes sense because like dropship play is actually important because of you know. Are you at uh, twelve oh three? Yeah. I'm now at 12 times. Dude, what is going on with your computer? All, all you have to play is a YouTube video. Yeah, fucking lag. I'm having to catch up. What are you doing? Are you all tabbing? No, I, I don't even have the I don't even have the Twitch open. I only have the YouTube bot open. I don't know what it is right now. But uh. Look at Lee's face right there. What? No, I'm caught up with you finally, thank God. So it looks like Lee's actually got a dropship rally, taking out some go some Goliaths right now. And, uh... Where are you? I'm only at 1245. I'm at 1246. Yeah. Okay, I'm at 1246. Do you see a blue dropship flying over to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1255. Um... All right, so he's gonna be doing like a what a vulture drop? Oh, uh, why would you cut to his face now? <laughs> vulture on vulture play? Like what? Why would you lift it up? Why? Why would you just? Okay, well he gets away. All right. All right. That is uh. Okay. I'm it. Fuck man, I can't. Stop pressing know where. buttons. Stop pressing your stop pressing your arrow buttons. Where are you at? You can't make me check. I'm at 1235. I mean 13 1340. Okay, okay, we're we're on the same thing. Just stop pressing buttons. It will it will work. Because the only reason why YouTube will ever go back is if you press the arrow keys and it goes backwards. Or next time we cast, just download the VOD like I did, and then you won't have that those issues. Uh, but it's too late now. Yeah, no, I'm killing the viewers right now. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. But uh, it looks like Sync is a uh, got a CC built right up, and right now just a lot of Goliaths coming out from Lee. So I wonder if Lee's just gonna go all in with Goliaths at this point. I I was predicting predicting mass tanks but i was completely wrong he's just he looks like he's just massing up a lot of goliaths for drop yeah, like I, said, this, 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 I think this is way more interesting but you know that aside i mean even chat was saying one tank one siege tank can kill off four goliaths easily so it's like well whatever anyway i mean lee is like really intense <laughs> Oh, he's gonna try to kill us off. Um, yeah, I actually believe he's not intense. I think that Lee usually wears glasses, and I just think he's squinting. Oh, he? Yeah, he looks like he's just squinting to me, to be honest. 
But anyways, this is really nice. He's oh, actually if he target fires that CC. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, wow, he just looks happy. He's just like, yeah, you know. Why would you leave the CC just there to die? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, that was. Oh well, but I really think that Sink is in trouble right now. This is crazy amount of glass. But then there is those three tanks the viewers were talking about. One of those will kill four. So, so Lee's gonna have to be pretty strategic on where he lands them. Yeah, if yeah, the only opening that I could foresee uh, that that uh, we that, that that yeah that Lee could really do in this scenario would probably just to drop him right onto the tanks. But I mean, I'm pro I'm I'm I'm, I'm sure Sink has Goliath in position to make that not happen. Or yeah, kill yeah. One, so never mind. But I, I just can't believe that Sync lost that CC for free. That was so horrible. Yeah, that was, was really stupid. To be Lee must be clapping his hands, you know, just like at this point, just like I have like totally threw away 16 minutes of this game, and and now and now you give me a free CC to let me get back in it. Thanks, man. You know, just like because I mean, Sink is far ahead. He's got an academy down. He's got us. He's got two facts. He's got his port down. He's got tanks out, and then he just throws away his CC. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so where do you go from here now? Like, this is just mass Goliath, you know? I almost feel like I'm watching a PVT, or a TVP, like, I, I wouldn't even... Hell, I... Where do you go from here? Like, you probably take your island expansion, hopefully. Hopefully there's not a ton of Goliath there that make it impossible for you to land your command center there or something like that. And, you know, I can only speculate, of course, because, I mean, like, these are, like, what I've only seen, like, what, 10 VODs so far? So I, I'm still getting my 2001 game knowledge down. But, I mean, I've only seen TVTs on this map before. I can understand the reasoning for going Goliath on this map, just for, for a map-specific build, because you're so reliant on the dropships right now, on, for TVT in this match, but, I mean, you'll just see, well, Goliath actually did a pretty good job uh, clearing off those tanks, though. Um, I don't know, it looks like he's abusing him with that cliff tank right oh, there. Yeah. I mean, the, the rest of the Goliath can't go in there and finish him off, for sure. Um, but it's just so map, it, it, you're so reliant on dropships to go up and down ledges to take your expansion, make sure you can get your siege tanks up there so you can take the secure base. And there's so many ledges and cliffs here, I mean, it's really a tactical decision where you put up your turrets, where you put up your tanks, and etc. All the, all the differences for turrets is that Goliaths are just walking missile turrets, that's all they are. That's literally their purpose. Um, so. Anyway, we have Joshua coming on um, inbound to try to kill this base off again. Oh no! This is going. Oh wow. He might get it again. Oh yeah, Lee, no. Lee looked like he forgot oh, the no, 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 no. Why? I just love things like expression. It's just like, you know what? I mean, uh, no, no. Lee's expression. No, no. Was that Sink? No, that was Sink. And he totally is going to get away with it. Looks like he's going to protect it. One last Goliath shot. Yes. And and that exchange was huge for Sink because it, it almost looked like the CC was just like a tactical decision. Hey, come and attack the CC with your stupid AI go Goliath while I pot shot you with three tanks and just own your army. And now he's going with the back door. Yeah, and this is like the whole point with the Goliath again. It's just like if you can shut down dropships, it's bam. Good. But this is... <laughs> I mean, both players have killed off the expansion. I think we have another hidden expansion in the top right for our uh, sync player, I think. So that could be something to watch out for. Yeah, no, both of these players are... Oh, can he get away? Two tanks will die. Or not, actually, because tanks are actually pretty good. Uh, so... This is crazy. This is TVT, and this is why it's like Goliath on Goliath. 
But I really like this map though for TVT. I don't know what your opinions on on BMW, but I really like this TVT. On, you don't like it or you do like it? I do like TVT on this map. You do? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm really not sure yet, to be honest with you. I have no idea what the strategy is really right now. I mean, other than, <laughs> than like, take out each other's naturals and basically see who mines out first, it looks like to me. And then by the time both are mined out, not having a natural, like, who has the better army? That's what it looks like to me right now, you know? Yeah. It's just a one-base battle at this point, just to decide who is going to get their natural up, and then that's the winner. Yeah, I mean, Singh is getting really sneaky right now. Um, lifted off, I'm not sure if it was the CC from his natural, but he lifted up to all the way to the 3 o'clock. And now he's doing another expansion now, so that's really, 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 really sneaky. Yeah. So maybe his name is not Sink, it's name, his name is Sneaky. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. His name is Sneaky. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Man, Lee keeps on coming back from this, just from the Goliath. And it's just, well, it's like, well, okay. Yeah, whoever's piloting the command center is doing a horrible job. He needs to give back his license. You know, he's just driving them right into traffic, basically, and getting... Just pot shotted by Goliath. Oh, yeah, and he can't land them either because Goliath just keeps walking under the seat. It's like, yeah, no fly zone, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's like, but you couldn't do this in modern times because your naturals are so close and stuff. You, you can't abuse each other like this. It's bad. Yeah, these were like maps that like Blizzard probably created back in the day. Like they didn't have Rose of Dreams. So much better than Fighting Spirit. They, are they didn't have Jackie so Prime. Better. So much better than that. Uh, I was hoping we could go a whole game without mentioning Fighting Spirit, but <laughs> <laughs> we got we got two bots there. We got two bots. Yeah, Another map wing in here. All right, so now the drop should play. Uh, I sure, I sure hope Singh does not lift that CC though. Yeah, and Lee is actually rallying his SCVs right into tanks. Uh, I really wonder if his population is too big and he needs more units at this point, just willing to sacrifice him. Oh, and we have Goliath on Goliath. Yeah, is, I really think though that that sink his tank, his tank count is eventually going to catch up. Oh, oh um, most definitely. I mean, Lee's being really, really sneaky. Like really, really, really. I mean, I, I honestly think Sink's ahead, though. But when he loses, like, four, five tanks just to pure Goliath, it, it makes me question what I just said. Yeah, it makes me think he's a true versus two player. You know, I... I just making there, there's just things that I don't think should happen, but <laughs> things apparently are getting away with, and I, I don't, I don't get it. Honestly, but that's okay. Yeah, and it, uh, from the mini-map, it does look like Sink does have a natural up now. I can't really tell, because he won't move his cursor, but it does look like he has a, a 6 o'clock, he does have a natural setup, or that might be just a big ball of tanks. I can't tell. 6 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the base, that's his natural. Okay, he does have a natural. So, so Lee doesn't, Lee does still does not have a natural. No, Lee, no, Lee does. Lee's at the 9. Lee has his... And Lee also has a third base. Or, I mean, it, it, I mean, I call it the I call it the natural, but you you, you can you can feel it, you can call it um I, the island expansion he has and he has the quote unquote natural. That's how far away it is. Oh, okay. Okay. It just doesn't look like it. And I guess you're right. Apparently, Breach is saying he's super far ahead, and his GM mind. I'm just gonna go with, but. I mean, yes. I mean, he has so many tanks. He's been off of what three bases. He's saying, he's saying, Sink is super far ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I, believe, I think uh, Breach is right on about that. But Lee, right here, coming back in to take out this little third expansion. He wants to get all these SCV kills, get rid of another CC for Sink, and uh, you know, Lee keeps doing this, and eventually you'll get back into the game. It will have a snowball effect. It will, but I mean, I'm not. Really, I mean, what chat was also saying is that I mean, this game is showing the limits of what you can do off of one base. I mean, have we seen tanks by Lee? Really? Have we? Or have we only seen Mask Live? 
I mean, we have seen a more var very variable unit units available for saying versus what we've seen from Lee. All we've seen is dropship. All we've seen is mass Goliath. Yeah, I know. I was hyping up Lee too, making him be at this Terran versus Terran badass and. Uh, I got egg on my face right now, it looks like. I have not seen a, a Lee blue tank for like this entire game. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, but, I, don't, I mean, you can't, I mean, Lee... Was I mean, there but, like some uh, handshake uh, agreement uh, before uh, the game? Uh, hey man, don't make any tanks, remember. No tanks. <laughs> no, no tanks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look at that. He just has mask alive. That's all he's been going this whole entire game. And it makes, I mean, this map, again, it, 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 it can make sense for Goliath. It's just, I mean, I don't want to discount Lee at all, though. I mean, he's been good. He's like, constantly denying off that those far up bases with just pure, just pure Goliath. And it's crazy. But Lee's off a of one base and sinks off a of two base. Purely at the numbers game point of view. That, I mean, thinks the head has a better unit composition at this point in time. And when the tank number gets to a, a, a critical mass where they can start just really pop shotting Goliath easily, Goliath are going to stand a chance. And if, when, you know, Lee can start getting up, I mean, I think he can get up his own Goliath numbers, he can just start one shotting dropships. I mean, he, there's no way for him to engage tanks. Yeah. But he's doing he's doing a lot of damage with these Goliaths. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's, but that's why I like this map because it's like it's not like like you may be under attack, but it takes you longer to react to it just because like he was like, well, where's my dropship? How do I engage this? And then from just that time to conclude of where you go, it just takes a little bit longer, which is what makes this TBT so entertaining, I think. Okay, now we have a nice slow push coming in. Finally, I think it looks like all these tanks are st finally starting to make their way around the map. I mean, they are vulnerable in a sense to Lee's giant Goliath army, but but I like that he is, you know, getting them around the map at this point. Yeah. But Jesus, dude, Lee, how, how is Sink? I mean, how is Lee killing these tanks like <laughs> poor positioning by sync but it must be upgrades at this point lee must have just pumped in a lot of money into upgrades well, he's got one one one, one it looks one. like lee has one one yeah do we have sync's upgrades sync i mean commentator dude please i know you can hear me 10 years in the future just just please click on no they're equal on upgrades actually no they're not he is zero one compared to one one so we only have plus one attack for uh, well it, that one one is definitely making a difference you know at this point and the way he's kiting Goliath everywhere is just you know, I wonder even if he you know I, I mean, does chat know this does ch do you know if unsieged tanks are better against Goliath than siege tanks when they're siege does chat know that because I, I honestly I wonder if that's the reason I, I, just, I just wonder if they're better I don't, probably not but I just wonder can we get a nice pan shot of what's going on? All that fun stuff. Yeah, Lee is totally full. Fully in his seat. He's not even got his... He doesn't have his back on his seat. Totally like... I told you, he's squinting. He is about as close to the, to the TV screen as he can get. The computer screen, excuse me. I, I wonder if he got dye in, dye in his eyes, you know, like from like dying his hair. Yeah, it could be sweat, you know, and you don't want to like, you know, you're like, your head itches and you're sweating and you can't wipe your forehead because if you misclick a Goliath, you know, it could be the end of the game, you know. He just must be in that really like panic state right now, like, I have to take a leak. This TBT is taking too long. I mean, I mean, I think this is over already. I mean, Lee has what left over? He has like all he all he's relying off of is like drops. I mean, this is the mindset that I go into a brood war game because my mechanics are terrible. Okay, because I know I can control group like a good solid like one like twelve units like really well in brood war. But once you start getting into like the two like one a two a three a, I just cannot do it. And again, here we go again. Lee is just killing off a command center, which is just before Goliath. But like what I always like to do because I, I I generally play Terran is like kind of like turtle but then just drop all over the map and I can be really really well against that but I feel like that's what 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 uh, Lee is doing right now and has the same issue that I have is when you're playing that kind of style 
You often don't have a major army. <laughs> you have like three tanks at home that you think is turtling enough. Oh, I hope he can repair that. I really hope he can repair that in time. You know, it's so funny. I'm like flashing between this and iCup and somebody's just like, you spelled casting wrong. It's like, really? That's all you got to say to me right now? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's Everybody wants to troll the caster. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean that's. I mean, who was the dude that got banned um, from Team Liquid a while back? Um, if you kept on like trolling in the Twitch chat and on iCop and stuff, you'd always be trolling. I don't know the guy was. Five reach. You've been helpful. Oh, he's playing the YSL now. Uh, yeah, Breach is like, I've had enough of this TV team shenanigans. <laughs> This and it, yeah, this is like a slow death. Watching a slow death for Lee. Well, Lee's the, like the thing is like he's like he's still playing like he can have a chance. Like that's the whole reason he this is happening. It's just like he has probably no bank left over. And what we're left with is just a a dropping a, a successful dropping turn denying expansion that would allow for an increased economy for Sing just to take this game. But Lee doesn't want that. Lee wants to have the most prolonged drawn-out game possible and just not JG and continue to deny expansions where Sing continues to take them and his economy is still off of, off like, what, two base, possibly? Oh. And, I mean, we have a hidden expansion by uh, Lee. I mean, the chances are slim. I mean, he might win. The chances are very high that Sink will fucking rage quit and leave because he's so frustrated. I don't want to build another fucking CC. <laughs> I think that's a high problem. Maybe that's Lee's game plan. Yeah. Lee's game plan was just to piss off Sync enough that Sync would leave the game. Oh, that's, that's, that's completely true. That, it's like my mindset is to go on this game, go Mask Goliath, troll, just continue to drop, and then try to make some awesome comeback. Yeah, that's it, that's exactly what this is looking right. Like he's like, I'm gonna win. Like I'm gonna win this. That story is totally believable 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, you try to do that shit now with like CJ Entis, you, you're not going to have a position in the team anymore. <laughs> you know, I told you not to go mask alive, but it works in practice. <laughs> You know, and Lee's has got like a hundred Goliaths again. It's I don't know how this is possible, but... Well, I mean... Are they so, like, inexpensive that he's just able to just produce them? Like... Oh, what? Right. And there, there goes my YouTube VOD again. What happened? I lost my YouTube spot again on my... I got to, like, 30... How? What do you press? I didn't press anything, it just did it itself. I'm at 30... I'm at 32. 3201. Go to 33 minutes. Flat. Like now. We have an engagement here. Again, somehow, Lee is killing off tanks with just pure Goliath. It makes no sense. Yeah. It, like I said, I think the game plan is that. Mask Goliath until Sink is just tired of making tanks and tired of getting his ass kicked. And, and Lee will eventually just win the war of attrition, and I will look like a genius. It's like Rage versus V Gundam. Uh, you know, that game was, like, possibly drawn out. Reach didn't have to really micromanage. And there is Sync being just... I mean, he, I don't think Sync has, like, smiled. He's had, like, the same flat expression on his face this entire game. To be honest with you, he looks cross-eyed. He does? He looks cross-eyed. If you look at him closely, he looks cross-eyed. Uh, yeah. Well, but, uh, now we yeah, see tanks being effective. <laughs> If and now PMW looks up. like an idiot. If he... Oh, no. Why? Why can he do this? Why? Does Sing have to GG at this point? Like, Lee is the ultimate troll. Lee is the ultimate troll right here. Oh, my God. This is I am looking like such a baller right now predicting Lee would win. Yeah. With mass something, it, I mean, it wasn't tanks, but it was mass Goliath. If he wins, I'm gonna look like the biggest genius, and there's gonna be all 17 viewers to see it. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous game. 
Yeah, Sink is going to go, like, throw his head in a towel after this game. Just absolutely sick to his stomach. This would be such a painful loss. We have nuked an embarrassing field. Okay. Okay, that, that spices us back up. Uh, green elf LV is saying that this game has gotten boring because of the duration of this game. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's you, know, what you get some good brood war games, you sometimes you don't. Okay, we can't, we can't choose the pick. I think that's the early stages of this game is entertaining, but God, this game has been for a while. Is he going to lock down one of those? Or is he just going to nuke? Like, if we get a money nuke on the Goliath, oh, this is going to be perfect. If not, then I don't know. Oh, he's going to nuke the SCVs. He's going to nuke the SCVs. Oh, what? He sees it, really? Oh, wait, no. This is going to be perfect. And, and Lee think this is actually important to move his SCVs? Like, come on, Lee. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, look at the expression on <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I don't think it matters. It's just through some supply for it. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, oh, wow. Well. Oh, no, no, no. That was like the biggest... That was like the biggest <laughs> FU... <laughs> FU troll nuke. Oh, no, no, no. This is not good at all. Alright, this is, this is just stupid at this point. In a professional game, you should leave. Did that should be like a rule. Did he actually pull a victory on this? Was Sink wrong? Is, is Lee, is Lee making, uh, having a boxer or not? Where he's just micro-ing his team around and killing everything? I, I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Zip Sonic or whatever his name is in the chat about the two balls colliding. That's exactly every Protoss versus Protoss game I've ever seen in StarCraft 2. What? Just like four, four fucking. I don't even remember what any of the units in StarCraft 2, but I'm gonna go ahead and say he's right. I will declare hard justice that you are right, sir. <laughs> Zip phone S C. Dude, who GG? <laughs> you didn't know who GG. Did Lee I'm win? not gonna tell you, just to troll you. Did Lee win? Who who won? I'm not telling you, bro. Right, hold on. I can't. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta read. Oh, wow. I gotta read this. Event. I was reading chat because I was getting a little. I was getting a little bored at this time. Okay, so actually, at the end, Lee does GG. Yeah. Uh, he just does not look happy. All right, let's go immediately to the other game so we can get our viewers back interested in Brood War. <laughs>